Hello and welcome everybody. I'm Christian from Berlin. Welcome to the 12th part of the series. The uh, idea, the important insight behind this lesson is that can not everybody piano. can play piano fast, but you can bring everybody, even amateurs, to play a very short stretch fast, let's say five notes. And we will explore that idea. So if you play, can play a short stretch fast and we paste that exact passage, just, you know, a side of that and a side of that, then you have a beautiful fast run. That's the idea. If you like this tutorial, um, leave it a like, helps my channel to grow. All other parts of this series are in a playlist, which is linked in the description box. Let's go. Let's get to the next level. Enjoy. Down lines are dominant in blues. So it's great to know a uh, selection. Many down lines, uh, not just by, by uh, beginners, or, but also by the professionals, uh, when you look closely, they very uh, often consist of patterns they repeat. That has the advantage, you can learn them easier because your muscle memory has to learn one bit and just repeat it the next octave, repeat it the uh, next octave. And it sounds great because very easy you can play this fluently and down lines played fluently is what makes you sound like a pro. Um, and we'll start. Let's start with the first one. I played medium tempo first for the sound impression and then we go slowly. told you about the little patterns and this pattern is this bit here yeah you just take the third finger go down the uh, chord over setting triplets and you repeat from there on so uh, you have just to learn over setting important that you make uh, sure you get this fast this is the most uh, popular stumbling point and from there on re it repeats and and in the end there is a little bit I give you on top because it sounds great if you have the um, if you have a line down that you sort of catch the energy with a with a little uh, a little bit up you know it's, it feels harmonious to the melody so in the end we go Yeah, it's a nice ending to this line. Do you know what I mean? You feel that it's musical, right? Okay, we have a lot to do. Let's move on to the next one. Next line goes like this. We start up here again. Sorry. Again, we have a pattern. Uh -huh. Very popular. Remember these little, this is a very little popular thing here. We can do a lot with that one later on. Yeah, so. This is the thing you have to learn and the rest is repetition. Wonderful, huh? Just so little to learn and so much effect. And repeating, octave down. And, and here on this side. To do a little ending that is a little bit different. So first two bars are exactly the same. Great sound. Now this thing um, you can also play because you have a... What do you realize? Yeah, you realize, right? It has, o, uh, it has no E in it, so we can play it over F2, over F7. Ha! You sound like a pro already. 
Okay, a popular one. And slow. And we will see some old um, friends here. It's always great to see old friends unless they just come to whatever, borrow some money. The old, one of the old friends is this one here. Yeah, 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 yeah. The power generator and another old friend and that is the 2-5 uh, business, I call it. Sounds a bit silly, but I give it names so you can remember. And I'll show you the 2-5 in case you do not know it yet. I will show it because it's also extremely easy and very popular and you hear even Jerry Lee Lewis play it because so effective, like... And uh, it starts like, you can start it from, yeah, let's say you start it from here. And I assume that many of you know this already from my lessons. In case you do not know, I show it again. It's just one pattern, two, five, one, two, five, one, repeating from here. And this is so easy and it sounds so great. This is, uh, I have to say, this is not in the sheet music, um, which I'm selling, because I assume everybody knows it and you, I don't want to give you old stuff. Um, so uh, this this one, the 2-5, is not uh, in the sheet music. Don't write me and complain. So now, we have these two old friends and the this bit I just showed you. And the pattern is that, 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 over setting here, yeah, that. Three hits and we go down. Two five over setting and there it starts again. Now this is a little bit different because it's shifting because now we're starting the next thing. He start we start with this on the one, right? One and two, two and, two, and three two, and four. And here we start the pattern already on the four again. Now I play it again and see how it shifts. It's the same pattern, it just shifts a little. So Four and two, one. Three and two, four. And we end on the C. You got it? It's really great. It's really fantastic. Because it's really nice in the hand. Don't think you cannot play this. Everybody can play this. Everybody can sound good. Are you ready for the next one? You still have stamina? Of course you do. I play it again. And again. We start with an old friend. And uh, so it has the sixth here and the octave and the, and the minor third here. And our pattern is going to be this one. Yeah. That's. That takes a bit to get into your hands. This weird thing with the two fifth finger and one and three, but a couple of minutes. Next day, you you it will just flow out of your hand. Oversetting the two five, which you know already. You see, we are reusing, we are recycling material. We are resource efficient. We recycle stuff. We do something for the environment while playing blues. Here, oversetting, and the same pattern starts again. And finish a little bit upwards for the reason I told you in the beginning again. Great sound, no? I like it. And, <coughs> and the next one. is it? First of all, first of all, you can play this on F, as you noticed. The pattern. 
And this is the clashing sound we love. And you will often realize that we have a pattern and we have a glue in between. Often it's scale notes. So we have gluing together and it starts again here. And this one we could play also over three, but I just don't want to be dogmatic. Can play this also just on two octaves. And I improvise a little ending. It's not in the sheet music, I just improvise it right now, but you can also um, like gentrify it uh, with a little beat in the end to catch up the energy again. Over setting. Almost have a whole, an entire solo. Now uh, there was something. Ah, yeah. If you now already a little bit on the improvising side, you could also uh, turn this into something like this. Here, do this. Turn them into triplets. Yeah, this slide instead of one beat, you do what. Da, 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 We have a lot to do. Let's move on. Christian, shut up. Just shut up and do this stuff for your students. The next one is hugely popular. You find it in so many tutorials um, I played for you and you will recognize it. They're everywhere. Also in variations. Let's have a look. I played again. have a look again old friends we have many old friends you know old friends are great and this is our old friend from our thirds which you know from all my other easy piano tutorials you know we're just building up on what you learned already here then important finger setting goes from here and it goes fast that's your that's your challenge here rest is easy we go down um, and then it repeats to the G and we repeat. Oversetting is again the uh, task of the moment that you're fa if you want to play it faster. And what you will often hear is a variation of that, um, which you know, you know it already. I played, and you could say it's more advanced, so that's why I put, didn't put it in here officially. But you know, just between you and me, there's a, you know this playing, and then, but you can also play it if you like, and then, and just the chord notes in between, and you can play that also. It sounds great on, on G. You have a, we are on G, e, here. Okay. Now we have again an old friend that is this one, which you know bef from know before, and we exploit old friends. <laughs> That's what we also do in real life. Um, we exploit friends and we exploit also in uh, in blues piano, our old friends, and we're exploiting this one again. Okay, I play it for you. Here we go. Again. Now we have again, we have this element, our power generator, and we have again the glue that is coming to, to stick them together. And then it repeats. And it repeats here from here. Glue. And here 
I do something, I do not catch up, uh, up the energy because here I'm uh, purposefully um, ended on, on, on a syncopation. It always, also, not always, also sounds great. Pay attention. Yeah, also very bluesy. And you see we have this, we have the uh, triplet is divided uh, by three, of course. Yeah, that was high science, Christian, now. And the first of the two, two triplets get two sixteenths, which you also learned from me a uh, long time ago. Okay, here. Yeah, I was ending. Okay, shall we move to the next one? Now this one, you see how, until now, you, you see how, how easy the, the mechanism is, the principle of the whole thing. Now here comes a little bit uh, of a new element. I played first, maybe you can spot it already. Get ready. There's something changing. There's a little bit changing and it makes it a little bit more interesting within the repetition. Now, look, I start here. I start with a minor seven, quite up here. We do a long stretch here. And I go from this you can play. You learn that by now. The 16th is in the middle. Over setting the two five. Again, you know this, old friend, exploit them. And now the second time, now, Usually I would repeat from here, but I don't. <laughs> it's a cunning German. Uh, it's the second time I play not the B flat but the C and go from B flat C. You see, there is a little difference every time. I just swap between the B flat and the C again. Now C, now B flat, now C, yeah, yeah, C, B flat, C, and it sounds more interesting a little bit. Good trick, and the tough bit for here is uh, to get at, if you play the tempo to get this one, this jump. From here it's easy, but you have to go for a second time from here. So, it's not too hard, come on. Here. Okay, actually I like this one. Made it up myself and something I made up for myself and still like. Oh, of course I forget to, forgot to let you know you, you know, you should spot these things on your on your own. But of course, we can uh, do this like do on F. Sounds great. You can do one of the previous one like, and you go on F. Sounds great. There's a lot of stuff in here you can actually use for change. Okay. Um, now we have a classic. Mm -hmm. I played again. Sounded a bit shabby. Why do, Why is my my thumb has lost all its emotion and feelings? He's he's not motivated. Again, very popular, Go catch the energy with this little. Now, what do we have here? This is a standard element, uh, G, A, uh, what is it again? It is called C, right? Here. Can you see it here in the camera? I show it to you here. Over setting, and that's it. That's, that's what you have to manage. 
and this uh, bit you can always always use here. It's a great way also to go from F back to C. Here. Now back to uh, back to C. So this is a universal. Uh, one shouldn't say weapon these days, right? But it's uh, yeah, it's a universal weapon. So. And we uh, play this uh, just in a daisy chain and repeating and you can play this on F but instead of going down here with a third uh, you, you just stay on the E flat. This was this F bit was also uh, improvised. It's not in the sheet music, but you know, just uh, inspiration. Okay, and last chapter. Now we are applying what you already learned from me to create a, a context for what you learned today. I played and I recorded. Hold on a second. Bop, 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 bop. Off we go. And what do we have here? Drone lid you learned from me already. Blue scale figures, you learned this, I know that, starting from the G. All these you already know, we just repeat that. And when we start the rundown, what you learned today, and the run up. Ugh. Which you already No, from me. The standard stuff here already. Uh, you, this is also a part of uh, a line we learned today. Remember? Okay. This would be a fantastic line and then you go on with other licks you already know. And another one for you. <coughs> Here I took especially the one everybody knows already, um, the easy uh, one that is the simple 2-5. Uh, uh, why did I take this? First, uh, the first bit, blue scale. Couldn't be any easier, huh? Now, and then we go down. So the trick is here. We play down while the left hand goes up. We did do the uh, the, uh, the run up already, um, maybe not as octaves, and that sounds great. This uh, counter movement sounds great in all music. Since classical music, uh, <clears throat> it's been there. It's just a universal role. Counter movement sounds like coming together sounds great, and so we play. You see, coming here, da, ba, 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 and at the same time you can start on the one together. And then go from uh, from there on. That's a really good trick um, for you. Now you can try with uh, with all the other um, rundowns when once you manage the easy one, this is just a two five figure. Two five again, because we just need the two five uh, the fingers two and five to set over. That's why I just called it the two five figure. You know? And you can try this also um, uh, with all the other runs. 
down. Okay, sounds great. Um, but we change the chord and do the run up in the left hand. And the last one for today is an outlook for you. What would come next in your career? So, what was so new here? Well, first, musically uh, speaking, um, the musicality in this is like you play something a little lick up here, um, like you can do it with anything, and then you're releasing the energy by then going down. Uh, you could play anything like that, 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 and you hear it many times, and you see it's released. And here we just play a little bit of blues line repeating, it's tension is there. But anything else will do. Now we have this bit you know already. From where do you know that? That's right, from 10 minutes ago. It's one of our patterns. But here we combine two patterns. Here we combine this one. Here stops our old pattern and here we think, hey, what could I connect here without having too much fuss, uh, for example, or whatever. And for here, for this example, I took again the simplest example. It's al it always sounds great. It's not just simple, it sounds great. It's the 2-5 pattern. We, we, we land it here with the thumb and you go straight into 2-5. I do it all the time and people applaud every time. And then... We approach F in this very professional way, going from the G here, yeah. okay? So, uh, great. You, you can practice it up front. Pick out, pick three or th uh, two or three favorites of composite lines, of uh, put together lines. So you have your, f uh, you have your, for the very fast stuff, yeah? You have uh, one single pattern and then you have uh, maybe two or three composite lines. That sounds really great. Now, I hope that I could enlighten you and inspire you um, for um, improvising and for learning this and uh, inspire you to subscribe. You see, I'm a serious teacher here and I want you to learn a lot uh, along with me. Bye bye from Berlin. See you next, next time.